Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Casey Liana. If you're new here, today we are going to set up my fourth quarter planner. I tend to like to change out my rings binding system and every quarter or so. And I have some new printables that I have that I want to put in and I got these lovely dashboards in from the Honey Bee Shop, I believe. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with this beautiful uh, vegan leather Sathion cover. I don't know if you can tell the texture is from Notique. Uh, this is what the inside looks like. I'm not sure if I'm loving it or not. It doesn't lay flat. And I'm not sure if I just need to work with it more. I haven't really used it because it didn't lay flat when I got it. Um, so I'm going to try to use this and see. I got this as an imperfect version. And I don't know if it's because it's an imperfect version. That's why it doesn't lay flat. Or if Notique just doesn't lay flat. I honestly don't know. So I'm hoping with some bending and using it, it will eventually lay flat. So I have my first, I'm gonna pick my first dashboard and I think I'm going to go with this. Um, so I got my name on it and it says, you can have anything that you want. So we are going to put her in first. It's just blank on this side. And the first, um, printable stuff that I'm going to put in is my own planner that I just designed. So we'll put that in. And then this girl, I think I'm going to do this one. And again, I just got my name on it. It says keep going. And the planner, the little rings planner says it will be okay. So we're going to do it next. And we're going to put in my Prettober workbook that I printed from Heart Breathings. I did delete pages that I wasn't going to use and I don't know if I'm going to use this but this is just for November whereas my planner is for the whole entire quarter. And don't worry I will flip through. These did not go in very good. Hmm. There's like one that's not out. Da -da. I don't know if I've ever seen where it's not the hole wasn't there. I mean I get this paper from Amazon already punch because I don't own a punch so and then I'm gonna put in this dashboard and I picked up this printable from Good Vibes Design USA, I believe. It's a manifestation magic workbook. And I've been wanting to work on my manifestation. Having trouble saying that today. So I um, picked that up. It was on sale. So I think it only cost me like $5. And then the last thing I have is a 2024 future log. And I'm just gonna put this in the back so that when things come up, I can write that in. So there is the inserts that I'm gonna use. Okay, so the next thing I have is just some planner, <laughs> some artwork and stuff, so we will be putting this stuff in. I have my sticky notes, which they're kind of warped because they were in a different planner. So we'll put these got this down here. And then I have this from Erin Condren. So put that in there. Give it some color. And then I got these journaling cards from Simply Gilded. 
So put those in somewhere. Let's see. You see these pockets aren't really that big. This from 100 million. Sorry, my having trouble with the pockets. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a big Sailor Moon fan. So, I really like this plan. I usually put it in all my planners. Okay, and then on the back, have this in a cheap paper. And I just like, I just like the color of that. So I think this is gonna be, and then, so now let's flip through, and I think I'm going to this one on this, and then I'll put this in the weekly. Okay, so we have the dashboard. She is sexy. And then I just have this quote, it's always a good time to let someone know you are thinking of them. And then this is the planner I created. So how it works is the top here, you put your goal. And then um, when you complete the number of tasks, you put that there. And then you put how many tasks you were supposed to complete. And then you do percentage. And then here you have a place to either put stickers or list out the tasks or doodle or anything here. And then over here you have a this week of anything else that's important. Over here you have your number of time task, which would correlate with the total of this. And then these are the tasks. So you would list each task that you wanna get done. Then you would mark it off on this checker and have a total. And then down here, there is space for 10 habits and you do the same thing. And then it also, I created this daily page. I don't plan on using the daily, so I will not be using this page, but it's basically, this is where the date goes. It's undated. You have your top three. You have a little dot grid space, a little blank space, and then you have your schedule. And then on this page is the weekly reflect reflection. Um, so it just asks you questions on how the week went. And so that's how all of these are set up. And then I have the Preptober planner from um, Heart Breathings. And I won't go into this because you can go over to her channel 
or her blog, www.heartbreathings.com and look at this. Um, she gives it free for her subscribers to sign up. But if you are new here and you don't know, I am also an author. I love planners and the main content here will be planners, but I am an author. My first book just came out last week. It's super exciting. And so I'm getting ready for National Novel Writing Month in November. So this workbook is only for November, which is part of this quarter. So I am trying to decide what project I wanna work on and get that nailed down. I got a lot of work to do in October to be prepared for this month. So we'll see if I get there, but I'm excited to start filling this out. And then I have my enough um, dashboard. And then it does, it has the manifestation magic workbook. And I honestly haven't really looked through this yet, um, but I'm excited to kind of work through this and see what's in here. Again, this is from Good Vibes Design USA. I will have it linked down in my description for you if you want. And then I bought this future log from Haru Plans, I believe on Etsy. I will have that linked in the, yeah, Haru Plans, it has them on there. I just like the layout of this. I thought I could write the event down here and then use a, like an Erin Condren marker and then highlight it the color and then highlight the day that it corresponds to you. I think that's what I'm gonna do on this page, but I need to start like mapping out things that need to happen for my book for my <laughs> second release that happens in June on the 26th. So I need to work on that. And then I will probably just jot down maybe in pencil things that come up um, why I am in this last quarter. But this is basically what this planner is going to be. Um, it's basically going to be a place for me to come write out my goals brainstorm goals and then write out the task list and then I will be transferring this stuff into my daily planner which is the uh, take a note which I showed you last week so that is how this is going to work I do plan on carrying um, these two together they should fit like oh oh okay they're really tight but they do fit um, I'm not sure how the pin is going to fit, but that's how they look. So I do plan on doing that. And it does seem like it's laying flatter now. So hopefully I don't have to worry about that going forward. My dog is happy because he just ate. <laughs> he, so, but this is all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed the setup of uh, my new Notique quarter for planner and I would love for you to join this community if you want to and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like on your way out and I will see you guys next week I hope you guys have a wonderful day bye